Hey guys, I'm back with part two of the Aqua 8 restoration. Um, I'm basically trying to show you guys the equipment that I'm using for this video and then I'm gonna go on to do the close-ups. So here I have some kind rounds from Rite Aid. You can get it from anywhere. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be kind rounds, it could be kind balls. Also I have nail polish remover, 100% acetone. This is key to when you're removing the paint because you can't nail polish remover with 100% acetone will work because it's 100% acetone but if you use something that's 50% it's a little bit lighter so it's not as strong so it'll take more time to take off the paint so I recommend going with 100% um, you could probably pick them up in a hardware store and most pharmacies will have them and as you saw in the last video I had the Aqua but now I have both I have the Concord 8 and the Aqua 8 so basically I'm going to be using those and the paintbrush as well. Any kind of paintbrush really that you're familiar with, you know, excuse me, that you're used to. So this is going to be a pretty quick video. I'm basically just going to be removing the paint. And I might paint, I'm not too sure if I get time. Because this will be up tomorrow. This is a Monday, it's going to go up tomorrow. So we'll see how far that goes. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. and Stay tuned, stick around because... This is gonna be one crazy ride. I'll be right back. Pencil starts to get bubbly, so I do not want that to happen to this pair. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna postpone this, the paint removal for the next video, and in this video, I'm just gonna be removing the glue off the soles, just because I don't want damage on the midsole. Especially that the shoe is old, but as you can see right around there, I took some of the paint off. As you can see, it's black right there. But as I was going to this area, you could start to see the little bubbles. Um, I'll show you guys closer shots. But um, yeah, the midsole started to get damaged. And I don't want to cause any more damage to the midsole. It's not really damaged. It's just that you can see it's starting to bubble up. I do not want that to happen. So I'm going to postpone this to the next video. That should come out on Saturday. And um, for this video, I'm just going to be removing the excess glue off the soles. I apologize for that as well. I'm sorry. So, um, let's get back to that. Alright. So, basically, what you're going to need for this. Not, this ain't the painting. So, basically, you don't need to paint anymore. Everything else you're going to need is the same. Except you're going to add a brush. Any kind of brush you have is fine. And um, as you can see, this has a lot of glue on it. Old glue right up all there. So what I'm gonna basically be doing is getting a little bit of acetone, pouring it a little bit on the saw itself, like that. Closing it up and then just brushing it. trying to come off you can feel like a sticky residue right up on here and I'm going to show you the difference in soles at the end of the video because there's definitely a big difference so <clears throat> to remove the glue matter of fact so apply the apply it and then you're going to want to rub it right where the glue is at gets like that yellowish because all that glue gets off so you get that yellowish tint I think it did remove some and your hands get very sticky like very sticky so the problem is you get some residue of cotton but I guess you could just wash that off at the end but let's continue doing it the cotton rounds that was in the back
comparison and this difference of what just happened. So, so here we have the sole that's been worked on. And here's the sole that hasn't been worked on. As you can see, all that glue is still there. But this one's still sick, sticky, so we're going to have to wash it. But, as you can see, just you, know, you can see a little bit of cotton here, but the sole is clean. No more glue. Once we wash that, we're good to go. So now to work on the other one. that I've removed the glue off both soles I'm just gonna wash them real quick and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished product hey guys I'm back as you can see the glue has been removed off both soles completely now we're gonna get start getting ready to paint the mid soles and remove the paint as well I'm gonna have to pick up another product during the week so stay tuned um, don't worry the project will be completed in a matter of days so so i hope you guys like the video please like comment and subscribe and stay tuned on for saturday for that new video have a great day guys and if you have any questions for any restorations or any restorations you might want to see me do please leave a comment down below it is greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next video peace you can see the water is boiling so I'm just going to set the shoe right on top and hit the steam do its job. I just want the sole to come off 